So, it's been Hi, that's me. Time. I'm Jeanette Penley. I play Catherine. I'm Dave McGuire, and I play uh, Jacob and Timmy. Forgot about it. Sorry. You forgot your name? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm Drew Campbell. I play Steven and Shauna. I gotta say, your transformation for Shauna for all of these episodes has been <laughs> fabulous. It's it's a uh, it's a Christian Bale like weight loss program. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Jason Salazar, writer, director, creator, editor, and overall puppet master of the uploaders. And I am Melinda Marks, the puppet who has learned how to love. And also, I play Poppy on the uploaders. This was our season two. Uh, episode opener and it was at this point clear that it was very difficult to get all eight of you together at the same time so I came up with this genius idea of having everyone have uh, a group meeting via webcam and uh, that's what we're setting up. Beyond Forever Studios uh, my old uh, my buddy uh, Harvey Chin did this little animated opening for us uh, I kind of wanted to do There's something. There's me. There's you. Doing that thing that I do with my face. <laughs> There's me. <laughs> a bad flash version of me and my daughter Sydney. Uh, this was meant to kind of be a little reminiscent of the bad flash animation opening of the guild. I miss flash animation. So, uh, well, I did a show last year uh, called Toil and Trouble, and I thanked Jason for getting the part because it was very Catherine-esque, and so I went in on my audition and I just played it as Catherine, nice. and I got hired. I th everyone with the exception of David was filmed uh, at various places in my home. Uh, As is pretty usual. Oh, and Tim. Tim was filmed at uh, the comic book store that I frequent and am allowed to film in. Elusive Comics, thank you very much. Elusive Comics and Games. Elusive Comics and Games. Which was also kind of a precursor because Tim uh, Virgil ended up having a, a few spin-offs of him at the comic shop, so it was kind of like a... My hair! I'm sorry, I haven't <laughs> no, seen no, my okay. hair in a long time. Very long. You two really look like sisters now. You, you, you just very similar hair features, everything, and thanks, man. Yeah, I, I guess cause just because Beth is so nice looking. <laughs> this was also the setup for uh, Carmen's VD. That's right. <laughs> that we did have to have a setup for that. It was not implicit. That was not. You yeah. You think that it was, but it was not. Again, it was going to just mainly be a running joke that Carmen had some horrible infection in her vagina, and I didn't really know where I was going to go with it. But then ultimately, that paid off in the last season when we uh, spoilers kill her off because of her VD. Remember when hair bumps were a thing? <laughs> well, she still thinks they are. I've always thought that Catherine is the female version of Jason. Oh yeah. Loud. Oh, yeah. And Absolutely, a, yeah. you're, you're out of line. The louder version and female version <laughs> of Jason. Mm -hmm. No, you've been playing Jason's id from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great look by Shauna. That pretty that look just kind of sums up the entire just overall complexity Tim. of the group. What's beautiful about this particular uh, sequence is that Jason's in the room and not saying anything, and I can make fun of him all I want, and he can't say shit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Beth's top is quite revealing. Um, yeah, Beth Cleavage. I think that's the most provocative. I think those characters actually, other than when they're actually made out. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, clothing-wise. Um, Drew's in my garage. Your, you two are in my office. Uh, Allison is in my front room near all my CDs. Jeanette's in my back computer room, and Shauna is in my daughter's room. <laughs> so I mean, again, with the exception of Tim mm. and David. It's nice you have a room in the house for everybody. Yeah, I mean, I bought it that it could have been, you know, five different locations. Yeah. So it worked out. See, so you can see a picture of Sydney on <laughs> behind Allison. It's like, who is that girl? I kind of just wrote that off that that was a baby picture of Carmen that she liked to keep. Yeah, Drew came in and helped me set up a lot of the, the big group shots there where you're all on screen at the same time, because at the time, I did not know how to do that. Well, now you do. So I do. It was a valuable learning experience for you. Drew was actually helped with something, so... Thanks, That's Drew. Drew's metier. It is, it it's is now. Drew's metier. <laughs> yeah. was, was this one of the episodes where I actually uh, said what was on the page? No. Okay. I don't think you ever did. Is there ever one? <laughs> I, I, think, I think there's a few lines where I don't just rewrite it. 
<laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, well, I say rewrite it. I mean, forget it. Yeah. The look on our There's our always camera. these like long spiels of of insults and bad words, and then it just becomes mush mouth out of my mouth. I make it up as I go along. When uh, he first started writing these, I'd get these random IMs from Jason. I need a new swear. <laughs> I need a new insult for somebody. I can't say cock tart anymore. It doesn't work. Oh yeah, this was the uh, the introduction of Catherine's sister Katrina. Oh yeah. Um, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. Uh, I just thought again that when you see her pop up on screen, mm -hmm. I thought the the girl who plays Katrina Renee. I just thought she looked like a younger Jeanette, and I'm like, oh, I'd like to give her a sibling. Why not? And so when she came in and uh, basically played, you know, the 18, 19 year old version of of Jeanette, and it was great. And Katrina Catherine, I think I borrowed that from Shakespeare. Isn't that Taming of the Shrew? Well, it was yeah. Katrina and. Kat no, it, well, no. No, it what was is Katrina and Bianca, Bianca oh. but Catherine and Katrina are the same person. Oh, oh, that's okay. Katrina Manola is her name. Okay. There's your Shakespeare info for the day. But sometimes she's called Plain Kate. Plain Kate. And Bonnie Kate, and sometimes Kate the Cursed. <laughs> And then this is the steady decline of uh, the Tina character becoming a, a pill popper. Because later in like her little webisode thing with Bob, she always talks about taking Xanax. You've actually watched all these, haven't you? I don't do anything when I go home. <laughs> I think it's amazing that Carmen still has uh, physical media. <laughs> hey, this was filmed back in 2012. Well... When physical we're, media was still at its, at but, its apex. But we're in the room with the physical media right now, and it's still there. <laughs> there are a uh, thousand CDs there. And there's Renee. I mean, again, I totally, I mean, just seeing them side by side, I would buy that they're from the same gene pool. Mm. And she was really funny. And comes back in later episodes. I, do, I, I had no idea what I was reacting to. Nobody I did. Well, I know, but yeah. I mean, I remember that's my biggest takeaway memory from this. Yeah, I mean, everyone, like, I would read, when, we, when I filmed everyone separately, I read the entire script mm -hmm. all the way through every character except the person I was filming, right. so you at least knew. Well, yeah, I read, but I mean, it didn't stay. It know? didn't stay, and, and it, again, it was just more, it was more for me, so I knew come editing time what the hell I was doing. Because again, this was very complex to go back and forth and keep it all in order. We should turn it into a game for the audience and see if they can guess like how many jelly beans are in a jar, how many CDs are on the rack. Yeah, there we go. And we'll give you a high five. <laughs> and, and a prize which entitles you to never have to watch the uploaders again. And a signed photo of the show. Oh, which will be signed by like four of us. I think if this ever got huge, it would just have to be Jason's MRI for his, for his colon that he'd sign for people for $20. As we uh, record this, we're finishing up season three, which is also our final season. So we're trying to pull out all the stops and have characters come back, but it's tough. And rip off 20% of your manhood. If there's even that much to begin with. What? You were on fire today! Oh, yeah, right. So is my vagina. Her cream was actually a small tube of toothpaste because we had nothing in the house that passed as a tube of cream. I guess that's so, good. Yeah, that so I told her. your family don't need bombs of any kind. No, that's very, not, not at that point. Maybe now, I don't know. I need to check my bathroom. Probably more readily available now. <laughs> But at the time, that's why Allison's holding her entire hand over the tube, so you can see the Colgate logo. Good. Yeah. Movie magic. Movie magic. This show is a lot about reaction, because mm -hmm. even though each and every one of these characters are total assholes... They're they so shocked by uh, Right. They don't think that they are, so when they see a member of their group do something terrible, they're completely disgusted. So your, your facial reactions always sell that perfectly. Shauna's especially. Shauna always had really good what the fuck looks. She can deadpan. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I should just, if I have nothing to say, I should just copy everybody's reactions. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to say anything to this show. It's so out there. This episode, too, uh, was also one of uh, 
I think one of our most viewed. I think it has. Is that right? Yeah, I think at this point now it well, has I mean, probably nine or Drew's ten thousand. Drew's wiener is a big draw, I think. Yeah, it, it seemed. Uh, it seems too that the group episodes, where you, at least all eight of you are in the episode at the same time, whether you're in the same room or not, get the most views. That's I think. Interesting. I think people just like to, you know, they can pick their favorite character and follow throughout. Mm -hmm. And when it's more the individual episodes. Maybe they don't want to see a Catherine episode, so it doesn't get as many hits. I don't know. I, uh, I do not understand the draw of this show. Well, there's no understanding people, Jason. There's no understanding this horrible crap that we made. Nobody needs to see Ew, that. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, it's but Jason's the, fault. Boys are gross. It's all Jason's fault. We're huge in Europe. No, don't lie. <laughs> no, I am lying. But my guess is if if people watch us in Europe, I bet we're probably a, a kind of a big deal. It's all good though. It was tape. A, it was a fun. What kind of tape was that? That was duct tape. Was it really? But though? but not sticky. Yeah. We would. How did you? Uh, film trick I learned in college actually from using gaff and duct tape. You take the duct tape and you roll it across the end of your pants, preferably jeans and it really kind of alleviates a lot of the stick. Good. And then when you use it, it will still work, but it won't be as harsh. Which is why when it was on her face and she took it off, mm -hmm. it, it would not hurt her face. Right. Because otherwise I don't think Jeanette would have agreed. No. Yeah. And why would she? Because Jeanette does what I tell her to. Stop it. <laughs> oh. And once again, a meeting gets nothing done. And Virgil gets a whole spin-off show at the at the comic shop which lasted three episodes well <laughs> when we're talking that the entire three seasons have ten episodes or <laughs> something like that that's, yeah little mini series yeah that's a spin-off hey he even went to LA six seasons in a movie yeah. <laughs> hello I think they, well, no shit, Sherlock, you didn't know what I was going to say. Let me guess, they all left us. Was that what you were going to say? Uh, well, perhaps. I, so, so, so what do we do? Doggy porn? Okay. August. August 2011. Thanks That for was right before. Never mind, go ahead. No, I was going to say. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for listening.